subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Good evening and welcome to Nepal News. Today we are talking to Bill Bensley, the owner of Chintamani, who has recently just today signed the agreement with the Sherpa Hospitality. So Bill, tell us a little about your uh, relationship with Nepal. I believe it back began long, long back. It did. It, it uh, began back in the early 80s. The first time I came here, it's, it's changed quite a lot since then. Uh, but I've always been in love with um, Nepalese architecture. And recently, um, while well, I've known of Mustang for many years, I went and had the privilege to go and visit Mustang. And we went up all the way up to Lomantang. And, and I tell you what, I really kicked myself in the butt because I didn't get there before last week. And you're a famous architect. You've built, uh, designed numerous hotels. I believe a whole lot of hotels. What is special about uh, what will be your your partnership in this uh, this new project? What's our partnership? Well, I I, um, I I'm primarily an architect, interior designer, and landscape architect. But I have a wonderful partner. In Chintamani, his name is Sukun Chanprida, and he's responsible for the business of hotels. Um, and I design those hotels, right? So we are we are joining the Sherpa Hospitality to uh, improve a, a, an existing hotel called Moksha. So we're going to bring it up to a very high standard, to the Bensley standard. Chintamani standard, and and we're going to aim for something like you know thousand fifteen hundred dollars per person per per night rather per, night. per room, all inclusive, etc. Like our other like our other hotels in Cambodia. So it's very ambitious, because something of that of that rate hasn't been done yet in Nepal. But you know what is that Nepal. And Mustang has the natural beauty that would command those rates if we do it right. When you look at uh, Nepal as a destination, you just said we don't have that kind of luxury tourist, that very high end. Do you see the potential in Nepal and what else? And Moksha will do what it has to do, but what else do you feel is needed for the destination to attract such high end tourists? Um, I, I think that um, Nepal is, is ripe now. I mean, after it's already been several years since the earthquake and many more years since the, since the political unrest, unrest, right? And now everything's sort of calming down. Um, so we're, we're really ripe to be able to let those high-end tourists back into the country and, and let them appreciate it. But what do we have to do? Um, I, on this particular trip, I'm really disappointed in the amount of pollution and the and the 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 waste management. And I think that in here in Kathmandu, that should be a main uh, political. That should be number one on the political Maybe agenda, is. is to try to clean up the environment. The air here is 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 horrible. And the most I understand is the most polluted city in the world. In the world. Yeah, I think that that has to be the number one thing on the agenda. Uh, also, with the pandemic almost behind us, I won't say totally behind us. What are your hopes? Do you think that tourists, the high-end, big spenders, would be traveling, and will Moksha serve as an attraction? Well, you know what, Terrence, is that I think that. Mustang is perfect for very high-end travelers that have been, there's a pent-up demand for places that are um, nature-oriented and that are very small. Moksha is, is less than 30 rooms, right? So 
you're you're not it's not a 250 room Marriott, right? It's it's very high end. So if you you and what we'll be doing is is inviting people to go individual parties to various places within the Lower Mustang immediately, and that, I think that will appeal to very high end customers, especially after COVID, who nobody wants to go to cities anymore. True. Uh, what made you want to sign up this deal that is, you've just done? What was the driving factor? The driving factor was not was Mustang itself. The best. Yeah, and it's uh, some place that I, you know, as I just told you, I, I've been in love with Nepal and and ne Nepalese architecture for a long time, and to be able to build when it came on my plate to be able to build something in Mustang, um, I took about two and a half seconds to say yes. <laughs> okay, and. Uh... What would a typical itinerary be? Because we're talking very high-end tourists, probably rock stars, uh, film stars, stuff like that. What would a typical itinerary be? I believe it's going to be all-inclusive. So yes. What would it look like? Um, well, we would we would like to have a, a three-day minimum stay, and uh, you might um, you might depending on the 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 the, the health and the, the stamina of the of the visitor, the right? This is very important. Um, what we're, what we're putting together now is a 10-day plan of, so that you can do um, different things every single day for 10 days. And when you come for three days, you, you pick what you want to do um, and fill, fill it up. Or you can spend the whole day in the spa free of charge if you want to do that. Um, so this is what we do at Shintamani Wild in Cambodia. Um, and it is wonderful if you can leave the hotel understanding that there's still so much to do to come, come back, back to. Oh, well, from my side, the questions are done. Anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers about this project? I'd like to share the idea that Shintamani, wherever we go, it's not just about, it's not just about um, making a hotel for rich people, but what and my four hotels in, in Cambodia, where as you know, it's, it's not a wealthy country, Sorry. right? So we have, for the last 20 years, we've had um, medical programs, dentist programs for children, uh, hotel, hotel schools, um, multiple programs in order for, to benefit the, the community. And honestly, Terrence, that's why I'm doing this. It's because of those programs to help the, the, those people around people. And, and we've benefited, the bene people that have benefited from our programs are enormous. We have, we have a farm, et cetera, that, where we share different types of plants, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not about, for me, it's not about making money. It's about sharing uh, and helping people around us. Thank you so much, Bill, for giving us your time. You're welcome.